Hello and welcome to our presentation on Smart Search Document Management. In this segment, we will be highlighting a short 10 minute demonstration of the power of our Smart Search Document Management platform. Smart Search is a product built from the ground up on Microsoft's .NET framework, taking advantage of web services for communications and SQL Server in the back end for metadata storage. Smart Search leverages the Microsoft Office ribbon bar for navigation, making the software very intuitive and minimizing the training required for end users. Documents can be stored in Smart Search in one of two locations, inboxes and archives. Inboxes are temporary storage designed to store documents that require further processing, such as manual indexing or quality control. They can be set up and configured for departments, for document processes, or for individual end users. Databases are designed for permanent storage of records. This is where documents go to be described, searched for, retrieved, and worked on later on. Security can be customized for each archive level, and the metadata schema can be completely tailored to meet the search and retrieval needs of that particular department or business process. The easiest way to get information into Smart Search is by doing a simple drag and drop. For already existing electronic documents, you can simply browse out to Windows, select the files, drag them and drop them directly into Smart Search. From here, any unstructured documents can be processed using our built-in key-free indexing. This allows users to simply click on any piece of data within the body of the document to index them away. In this case here, I'll start with the purchase order, and when activating my key-free indexing, I'll be guided by Smart Search on how to fill out the fields. The flag next to my mouse tells me to start by clicking on the PO number, then takes me to the date, vendor name, amount, and for any information that's not on the body of the document, Smart Search can provide a drop down or pick list to select data off of a static list. So in this case, I can code the document to the sales cost center. So I can do a stack of unstructured POs, and now when I get to a packaging slip, Smart Search can allow me to switch archives on the fly, changing my set of metadata but keeping me in my key free. So now I continue the process by clicking on the PO number and populating that metadata. Now we can also supplement our metadata using back-end database lookups. So if I've got this transaction already stored in my JD Edwards or PeopleSoft system, I can select my drop-down and look into those systems or any ODBC or OLADB compliant data sources to supplement my metadata based on the key field. Smart Search can also search internally for the data. So in this case here, I can find the transaction that I've just entered in for the PO and provide that metadata. And all I've got to do is key free the date of delivery off the body of the document. And we'll even put the information into the format that it was specified. In this case, turning September into the ninth month. I can move on to the last document in my batch, in this case a completely different invoice, and again if I needed to I can switch archives on the fly and key free the data right out of the body of the document by simply clicking on each data point on the document itself. In addition to PDFs and scanned images, Smart Search supports the storage of any Windows recognizable file, and all documents in Smart Search are stored in their native format without any proprietary wrappers. Using our built-in Capture Workflow Studio, Smart Search can completely automate many capture, batch separation, and OCR or barcode indexing processes at the server. This allows Smart Search to interface with just about any capture source, including multifunction printers, desktop scanners, and line of business applications that can release data and documents to a watched folder. Additionally, Smart Search can natively import XML. Once documents have been captured, users can right click on any archived location to access searches. Searches can be configured to search on a single field or any combination of fields using and or logic. The result set return can be sorted based on any of the fields simply by clicking on the data. The document can be double clicked to open and once retrieved documents can be annotated and output very easily. Annotations include highlighting to draw attention to certain information on the document, redaction to hide certain information on the document, notes to let users know of specific requests, signature annotations that allow users to select a saved signature, 
and place that directly on the document. And stamp annotations that can be completely customized by the end users or by the administrators. Documents can be output to email, printed, or launched back into their native application. When outputting documents, users can include or not include annotations and even select certain pages to output. With emails, the documents can be named based on any piece of metadata off of the fields. In this case, the document is attached, named after the PO number, and I can key in the recipient and send this email off. Documents can also be stored by their full text content. In my correspondence archive, I'm storing Outlook emails. If I ever wanted to find the email from six months ago that referenced key-free indexing, I can run a keyword search. This allows users to search for any word or phrase within the body of documents. In the results set, Smart Search adds a column for hits, indicating the number of times the search term was found within each document result. Additionally, when the document is opened, each hit is highlighted, making it very easy to find your search term within a large multi-page document, such as a contract, email, or memorandum. Probably the easiest and most powerful search method available in Smart Search is through our line of business integration tool, Image Exchange. This allows users to search from any Windows-based application simply by clicking on a piece of data. In this case here, I've got a purchase number on the screen that matches the documents we've indexed previously. Simply holding down control and clicking across the data will instantly execute the search. If I was performing a three-way match to approve this purchase, Image Exchange takes me directly from my accounting transaction to the supporting documents. The ribbon bar shows us that three results have been found, and we can begin by reviewing the purchase order, which indicates that Mike approved a purchase of 10 software licenses for $5,000 on 9-2-2008. If we move on to the next document, we're taken to the matched packaging slip, and we can see that we received the licenses on September 15, 2008. The last document returned is the vendor invoice requesting payment for the 10 software licenses. Using Work Exchange, our workflow automation tool, the user is presented with three actions that can be taken on this invoice, reject, escalate, and approve. Given that the three documents matched, we can easily approve this invoice for payment and even integrate that approval back into the accounting system. For decision makers that require visibility into the approval process, workflow views show the step at which each document is awaiting action. And automated email notifications can be configured to notify workflow participants that an action is required. Data in the results set can be easily exported out into Excel for reporting and calculation purposes, perhaps if I wanted to see the total value of all approved invoices. Using our native Windows Explorer integration file exchange, the document can be easily saved back into SmartSearch. SmartSearch file exchange will appear as a drive within my computer. Users can navigate to the database, automatically authenticate, and select the archive they'd like to store the document in. The index fields for the archive selected are displayed and can be filled out to file the document directly into SmartSearch. And finally, for any organization where security and compliance are a concern, Smart Search includes a built-in document history or audit trail. The audit trail logs the date and time that an action occurred, the specific action that was performed, such as indexing, viewing, modifying, annotating, or emailing a document, and the Windows user that performed the action. So not only can you create very granular security policies on your database archives, but for compliance, you can also prove that your security policies are working with the built-in audit trail. Thank you for taking the time to review our presentation on Smart Search Document Management.